Okay, so everyone is familiar with the tabar hives, the double tabar hives with two compartments. So you can raise colonies that are about the size that the bees prefer in the wild, according to Dr. Seeley, about 10 gallons, a little bit short of that. So that's the ideal size for, uh, for a normal colony of bees. So we can put two in one box, but guess what we're doing now? We're just adding old nook boxes that we cut open. We've removed the end piece. We've cut that open and we've screwed it in place. So we got a conversion from Langstroth to Tabar. And then look at this. We've got now, uh, that's a regular size with two bars, but uh, with two compartments, but now have two double conversion as well. You can put one on each side. You can see here it's freshly caulked. It's important to caulk uh, so that you have no space for critters to hide. And uh, same thing, uh, all the entrances on the nuke boxes are closed up. And here, this is what you see, the caulk there. And no other entrance and just the entrance into the top bars every time. So these are reclaimed and we're still using them for those conversions, which makes it really easy to raise both Langstroth nukes and top bar nukes and get top bar hives started with top, uh, Langstroth nukes. So that's one of the principles of these conversion hives. Here I've blocked the entrance with a block of wood and a disc entrance on the other side that I probably will close even more. But yeah, so uh, all boxes are being repurposed. This one had a dead out apparently, but it doesn't matter. You get the bees out and you get going.